Dive into the devilishly delightful world of Has Been Hotel, and here's why it's a must watch. Has Been Hotel is a very great show that has adult humor in it, and normally myself, I'm not big into a lot of cursing, a lot of sexual activities in videos and movies that I watch, but in this particular show, Has Been Hotel, the characters in this show make you gravitate towards them. Hey Splashers, welcome back, and if this is your first time tuning in, thanks for tuning in. Charlie Morningstar, which is the devil's daughter, she tries to help a lot of the demons that are going through struggles with the angels because the angels come once a year to sacrifice the demons. So this is their way of clearing up all the people that essentially have gone to hell. But Charlie, she is the princess of the devil and the devil is the one that runs hell. So she tries to help these people get rehabilitated and possibly figure out a way to get them to heaven because she doesn't want to see any more of her people die. And that's a noble thing. So as this show starts off, you have Charlie Morningstar and her friends, Husk, Alistair, you have Vaggie and you have Nick and then you have Angel Dust. And these characters all play a different role in the show and each one has a different personality. So the show is very interesting when you're sitting here watching it because no one is boring. Each one of the personalities plays well off the next one. And Husk is the bartender. Vaggie is Charlie's like best friend that wants to, you know, support her in her endeavors. And then also you have Nifty, which is the little crazy girl that's really just like wild, demonic, little, little tiny, compact, cute little girl. And then you also have Angel Dust. Angel Dust is this sex slave to the triple v's and he's also very just open sexually and he talks real crazy and things like that and then you have my favorite which is alistair the radio demon and the things that are the best about this show each one of their personalities starts to be put on display as you go through watching the episodes and so far my favorites of the characters is alistair and angel dust and as i said before i'm not big into sexual you know sexually explicit cartoons or a whole lot of cursing but you kind of feel bad for Angel Dust because he's a sex slave to Valentino, which is part of the Triple V's. So they're kind of like a crime syndicate. You have Vox, you have Velvet, you have Valentino. You got all these different characters and Valentino is the boss of Angel Dust. So he has him being his porn actor and committing all of these different videos and different acts that he's doing with other people. He's being sexually taken advantage of. As you start to see Husk and him develop a relationship where they're kind of seen as being on the same level, they understand each other other from a different mindset because Husk is also being taken advantage of by Alistair because I guess he negotiated a deal with Alistair to where he has to do what Alistair wants him to do. The mystery in this show is who and what Alistair is. Alistair is a demon that is known for doing radio shows and Vox is the one that's kind of like his nemesis so far. Vox actually runs television shows. So he does television and Alistair does radio. So now you're seeing these different dynamics and Alistair is completely a mystery. You don't know what he's actually doing besides seeming sneaky and shady. So as you're watching the show, show, you're starting to see a little bit more of his personality, but he's actually one of the bosses. So he's one of the overlords of hell, but he had disappeared for seven years and we don't know the reason that he disappeared thus far. But a lot of the people don't like him. And Charlie, she tends to be very forgiving and she likes all the different people that she's around. So she doesn't really ever look at the bad side of these other people that are around her. She's working on rehabilitating people. Vaggie's trying to help her do that. And they're all figuring out different parts of their lives and how they're going to get better to get and eventually hopefully send everybody up to heaven. The animation in the show is done very well. I love the design of the characters. I love their looks. I love how each one has different, you know, stuff on their face, different outfits, different accessories and things like that. Alistair's the coolest. I like how he has the voice that sounds like he's coming through the radio as he talks. His whole design, he has a microphone on his staff. All of that's pretty cool. And then Angel Dust is kind of like a hybrid spider type of demon. So he's pretty cool as well. And then Husk, he he has a whole cat in a hat style of like puss in boots or one of these like nice cool cats that you would look at but he has that like dark tone to him so he just looks like you know he's a troublemaker you love all these characters and then charlie even though she's the devil's daughter she actually has a look that you're gonna be like oh she's cute you know you don't feel intimidated by her she doesn't feel like she's the daughter of the devil as we would know the devil vivian madrano did a great job on producing this show the musicality in this show is excellent as well so if you're someone that likes good music throughout the show you're gonna get different rock variations of songs you'll get more of a pop song you'll even get rap songs of this very 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 
very well put together. I have no complaints on this show so far. And again, I don't like adult content like that. And I'm loving this show. That's crazy. I hope to see more from season two because now I'm already binge watching this. And I think I'm four shows in. I'm running out of real estate here. As you watch the show, you'll see that they have a meeting of the overlords. And that's where all of the big bosses go and meet up and discuss what moves they'll want to make next. Because the devil tried to put Charlie in position to speak to one of the angels, Adam. And he ends up getting mad. So the angels in has been hotel end up doing an extermination once a year. But now that Charlie had this meeting with Adam the angel, he decides that now he's going to move it up to where they do an extermination in six months. So when she comes back from this, the rest of the overlords end up having a meeting to figure out how they can combat the angels because now they're going to put this attack on hell and take more of the demons away that she's going to be potentially trying to rehabilitate. On the way to the overlords meeting, Zestial and Alistair start to discuss different things, figuring out how they want to come to a plan. He's asking Alistair where he's been over these last seven years and it's still a mystery around him. Nobody knows why he disappeared. So as it goes forward, they end up meeting up. All the overlords come to this meeting with Zestial and Carmilla Carmine. So those are the two heads of hell and you have the triple V's, which is Velvet, Valentino, and Vox. But two of them decide not to show up. They only send Velvet in their place to go sit in the meeting. But when she sits in the meeting, she's talking trash, going back and forth with everybody, combating them. She wants to go to war. She doesn't want to hear anything they have to say because one of the angels ends up getting killed and nobody knows how this angel died. During this meeting, they're going back and forth. Alistair's sitting there listening. Zestral's telling her, you know, hey, war is not the way to go because we don't know how the angel died. We don't know what's going to come from this. And she and Carmilla Carmine get in each other's face trying to figure out the two different sides. After the meeting, Carmilla Carmine, Zestial, and their daughters end up going into the back office and Alistair sends one of the egg boys in there to go listen to the conversation. And when he listens to the conversation, he finds out that Carmilla Carmine actually killed the angel. She didn't even realize she could do it, but now that she did it, it stirred up the pot and now they want to destroy all of hell based on the fact that she killed an angel for the first time ever. So now this is where it gets exciting. We'll find out what's going to happen next because this is as far as I've gotten in the show. But I just wanted to let you guys know my opinion opinions and what I thought about this show. So far, I really, really, really like this show and I love what Vivian Medrano did with this show. So I'll be continuing to stay tuned for it, watching all the new episodes as they come out. And if there's any action figures or anything else that comes on the market, I might have to grab some. Thank you guys for tuning in today. I hope you enjoyed this video. Give me your feedback. Let me know what you thought about it as well. And if you also seen that controversy with Verbalace, I did a video on that as well because he actually used Charlie Morningstar in a music video, which which supposedly he paid $50,000 to have that video created. That's what actually spurred me to talk about this topic of Has Been Hotel. It made me find a show that I actually enjoy. So if you haven't already checked out some of my other videos, go ahead and watch the Verbal Ace 50K music video from the Has Been Hotel review that I did. And also I have movie reviews like The Color Purple, Aquaman 2, also The Beekeeper, and any other ones that you may enjoy. Hey Splashers, thanks for tuning in. And if this is your first time watching any of my videos, I hope that you enjoy subscribe like and comment follow me on all social medias thank you guys for watching